Pania, the reef is well known to the people of Napier. A statue of Pania was erected on Napier's Marine Parade in 1954 to commemorate her story. And she also survives in song and poem as well. Pania today is known as a ledge or reef of rock, commonly known as the Napier Breakwater, which is located approximately four nautical miles northeast. This was the home of Pania, who was a beautiful sea maiden with long brown wavy hair and shiny smooth skin, who in ancient times daily swam shoreward at the setting of the sun, returning back to her sea people before the break of day. While on shore, Pania used to play among a clump of harakeke or flax bushes next to a fresh water spring called Tuhina Po, which was located at the foot of Hukiriri Cliff, close by the sea. One evening, a rangatira or a chief by the name of Karitoki, who lived in a nearby pa, became thirsty so he decided to get a drink from this fresh water spring. While he was drinking some water from his hue or calabash, Karitoki noticed Pania among the harakeke and instantly fell in love. Karitoki took Pania back to his home and they became man and wife. After some time, Pania gave birth to a son who was completely without hair and so naming him Morimore the hairless one. After the birth of the son, Karitoki grew increasingly concerned that he may lose his son to the sea people, so he decided to consult a tohunga or an expert priest in the hope of finding a way to keep his son Karitoki and Pania with him always. This tohunga or expert priest told Karitoki to place cooked food upon Pania and Morimori while they slept, and by doing so, they were never again returned back to the sea. I think it's important to note here that food is important in the Māori culture and it's not until the, the, the kaias had the proper karakia that is then safe to eat. Evidently something must have gone amiss for Pania had returned back to his sea people, never to return again. Morimori was turned into a shark who lived and continues to live and occupy the waters surrounding Napier. When local fishermen retell the story of Pania, they claim that at ebb tide, Pania may be seen at the bottom of the rocky shore with her hair as brown and still as ever and her arms stretched towards shore.